The people of Cretona were inspired by Pythagoras's lofty, beautiful sentiments and, impressed with his noble bearing, helped him to build a school on the outskirts of town. Pythagoras was the first to use the term philosopher, or lover of wisdom, and gained many followers. But his school was more than just a place of learning. It was a community, a fraternity, a way of life, and a sort of scientific research establishment. It was open to both men and women at a time when women were very much regarded as second-class citizens. He also taught the doctrine of rebirth or transmigration. One group of students, approximately 600 in number, lived in a communal fashion in the school. This inner circle of followers or initiates was called mathematikoi, or students. They lived in the community, had no possessions, and were vegetarians. A second group of 2,000, the akusmatikoi, or hearers, were family members who lived in their own homes and came to the school during the day. Both groups took lessons in the homakoyon, a large common auditorium where Pythagoras conducted his teachings while seated behind a curtain. The hearers were not allowed to see Pythagoras. It was thought that the sight of the master would distract too much from his words. The students, however, sat on the same side of the curtain as Pythagoras and were initiated further into the mysteries that their master had learned from the priests of the East. The students were not given these truths freely and had to prove to Pythagoras that they had an uprightness and beauty of character and that they could keep secret the truths revealed to them. Thus, they were obliged to take vows of silence, usually lasting five years, before they could even be considered for further entry into the mysteries. As his teachings spread, Pythagorean synedria, or meeting places, were built in most cities of Magna Graecia. Pythagoras's community at Cretona was not unaffected by political events, despite his desire to stay out of politics. Pythagoras went to Delos, also sacred to Apollo, in 513 BCE to nurse his old teacher, Pherichides, who was dying. He remained there for a few months until the death of his friend and teacher, and then returned to Cretona, which, in 510 BCE, attacked and defeated its neighbor, the elegant and sophisticated Sybaris. And there are suggestions that the Pythagoreans became involved in the dispute. Then, around 508 BCE, the Pythagorean community at Cretona was attacked by Chilon, a noble from Cretona itself who seems to have been the Cretoniate governor of Sybaris, and who had applied to join the Pythagoreans, but had been refused admittance because of his character defects. He gathered around himself some disaffected Democrats and others who resented the power and influence of the Pythagorean community. The members of the Pythagorean community were temporarily expelled and Pythagoras, along with his wife and children, escaped to the city of Metapontum, where most authors say he died, some claiming that, in sorrow, he committed suicide by starvation because of the attack on his community. Some years after his death, the Pythagoreans were allowed to return to Cretona and rebuild their school.